I hate manually testing whether a PR has implemented the functionality that it says it implemented and having to manually test that. I hate it. We're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna automate that process with VHS. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we can actually use VHS record and we're gonna output that to just record.tape. It can be named whatever you want, but we're gonna try this out with VHS record. And as you can see, we've got a new prompt that pops up here. So everything that's happening within this prompt is getting recorded to the tape file. We're gonna open up this markdown file, maybe scroll through it a little bit. Maybe we wanna pause at the installation and think, huh, how do I install Glow? We can go to the end of the file, maybe go back. Let's say, hey, I liked that file. Let me stash it so I can save it for later. And then let's quit. We don't need Glow anymore, all right? And then you can just hit Control D and it will stop recording. So now I have a file called record.tape. So you can see that it started with a sleep and we can just modify that. So we can totally adjust this to however long you want to pause or if you made any typos, you can actually just edit the tape file with this tape file. Let's go ahead and create a GIF and see what it looks like, okay? So then now what you can do is you can send that record.tape to VHS and it's gonna generate a GIF for you. Now, another cool thing that we can do is if we open up our record.tape, we can also have it output to a golden file. So you can have output golden.txt and this will essentially output all of the expected behavior to this file. Yeah, so it's showing us all of the stages of what we should be seeing with each key press, which is pretty neat. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that you can actually have it fail CI if the golden file changes. Let me show you what that looks like with our GitHub Actions that we have for VHS. So here you can see we've actually got an entire VHS action repo that is dedicated to being able to add VHS to your continuous integrations. You can use GitHub Actions to integrate VHS action to your project. So you have a YAML file and you copy one of the examples into your YAML file and create your VHS tape file with all of the instructions that you want it to perform. And then you can trigger your action by creating a pull request or making a commit depending on your vhs.yaml file. That's it. Anytime that the action is triggered, GitHub Actions and VHS will regenerate the GIF from your .tape file on CI. So this is useful for keeping demos updated and performing integration testing to catch errors in your PRs. You can also check out the GitHub Marketplace to see the VHS action, GitHub action that you can add to your projects. Now, before I get ahead of myself, I realized that I never actually showed you what our output GIF looks like. But as you can see, it is an exact replica of what I had previously shown you in the prompt that we were recording. If you're finding that you're having to do a lot of manual testing, you can totally integrate this into your workflow and have it validate all of the functionality for you. You can also have VHS comment with a output GIF on every project that you're using at VHS Actions. All you would need to do is make a change to your VHS.tape on the VHS action and then create a pull request. Don't forget that you can also have it configured to watch all of the files for your project. So you can have these GIFs being generated for every PR that's coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share to any of your friends who might be interested. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.